50 second pro fight for Rampage 46 for Fedor. Midway through round one, and that uppercut lands over and over. And return from Rampage. Fedor doing a very good job of actually confusing Rampage about where he's going to attack. Oh. Done. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And I just got through watching, witnessing a dominant performance over Fedor Elinenko versus Rampage Jackson. First of all, shouts out to Mario for sending this to me. Um, <laughs> he is damn near looking like Andy Ruiz. He comes in at 265 pounds. He had to lose a lot of weight just to qualify. You know, that reminds me of um, another um, Bellator match between Dada 5000 and Kimbo Slice. And Dada had to lose so much weight by the time he lost the weight, he wasn't worth a damn. I don't know if that happened to Rampage Jackson, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. He's 41 years of age. Rampage Jackson, you can know the better years are behind him. The punches that he took without any answer was unacceptable unacceptable there's no way to counter punch this i know this is ufc but there was no kicks no strikes no really no grapples this was a straight up hand-to-hand -hand speed versus brute force that wasn't really forceful <laughs> because rampage jackson couldn't get anything off you know fedor came in with speed quickness uppercuts i mean just strikes and straight right hand, it looked like a Deontay Wilder perfected punch. He hit uh, Rampage Jackson right here. Down went Rampage Jackson and what made it worse. This is the first time I ever seen him shake his head on the ground like no more. And Fedor, he could have went for him, but, you know, they knew the fight was over. He didn't want any more. He split his eye wide open. Blood leaked everywhere. Okay. That was a profound punch, okay? Now, coming from gloves like that, hit you the way he hit Rampage. Rampage got a Rampage punch to his face, okay? And he, because he was blocking from the outside and got caught right in the center. That's what happens when you, when you target your punches. Perfect execution, perfect strike. Good night, Rampage Jackson. Matter of fact, Rampage, I don't even think he knew what even happened, honestly. He just knew he got hit with something that made him just, he fell straight face forward over. I never seen that from Rampage, ever. This is that. I think Rampage should work on his weight. I don't. I hope he doesn't pull a Buster Douglas or Andy Ruiz or somebody like that that goes home and gains 400 pounds out of depression like a Shannon Briggs. I hope he doesn't go down that route. I think he needs to work on his acting career. That's what put him in a stagnant place in the UFC in the first place. Okay, I think that's what really did it. But it happens to a lot of people because the film industry does take a lot of your time. Okay, especially if you're an athlete, and especially you're eating catering and craft services and all that stuff that's involved in you know, or with the films, okay, that's what happens, you know, you're sitting up in your trailer, it's all decked out, you have all these amenities and stuff you probably shouldn't have, that's what he should work on and focus on now, because as far as, you know, going into fighting guys that are still on the level, that are still hungry for this sport, it's done. Say good night to the bad guy. Because <laughs> Rampage Jackson, I, I'm sorry. It, it, what, I, what I saw, what I witnessed, I know the speed was evident. It was definitely a factor, but he couldn't, he didn't force an attack. He didn't have enough weight to even move around the ring to cut the ring off. I know it's an octagon, but still, he didn't even bring a effort to come forward and attack, you know? But, of course, Fedor came in, in a, you know, in a control. It looked like Tyson Fury in there. Look, it looked like Tyson Fury, uh, uh, Tom Swartz. That's what it reminds me of. But with a dynamic knockout at the end. One round, people, good night. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Rampage Jackson. Of course, I'll leave the link below. It's on DAZN UFA, USA. So, you guys, uh, please subscribe, and you've been counterpunched. Peace.